Hello everyone, uh, this is Anoman from JNPU College, uh, lecturer in chemistry. So for today, from today actually, uh, we will be starting the online labs, okay, we will be doing the experiments. So let us begin with the first experiment that is the systematic qualitative analysis. You are, as you are familiar with this uh, qualitative analysis in your first years, the same way, the same procedure has to be followed, but only the salts that has been given to you in the first year, only that might change. So let us begin with the salt now. Now, suppose the given salt has is like this, okay. Now, as we can see in the first thing, right, we need to write down the chart, right. In this chart, we have to write the systematic qualitative analysis, begin with salt first, okay. The first part will be your test, observation and inference right now the first thing is preliminary test okay so what does this preliminary test tells you about first one we have to see about the state take this salt look at the state is it amorphous or crystalline by just looking at it okay I'll just show you it to you hold on by just looking at it, yeah, is it uh, just a sec? Let me, yeah. Hmm. By just looking at it, you can just clearly just guess it that it is amorphous. If it would have, it would be like this one, amorphous. This kind of salt, then it would be amorphous. Now, it is like this. So it is crystalline, right? Crystalline, definite shape, right? So it is like this. So first thing, it is done. State is crystalline. So what are the elements that can uh, be present in this crystalline salt? It can be chlorine, Cl minus, bromine, nitrate sulfate or barium and maybe mg plus 2 maybe nh4 plus okay and these may be present okay these are the radical these are the ions that might be present in this now now let me come to the second this preliminary test look at the color for this what is the color it is white right so write it down it is white but we have two options when you see the chart we have two options either it should be colorless or it has been pale pink so white resembles to your colorless right there colorless now what is this radicals what do you see in the inference which radicals might be present here it can be Ba plus 2, Mg plus 2, Al plus 3 or Ca plus 2 may be present. Right? Okay. Now, the next thing that is the solubility test. For solubility test, let me come here. Okay. Take a clean test tube. Take a clean test tube, add small amount of your unknown salt to it, done, yes, so add water to it, water has been added, see, yes, can you see this now? See, shake a little bit vigorously. No. 
do you see any salt remaining back no right it has been completely dissolved so when it is dissolved so what do we write here just a second when it has been dissolved what do i write here soluble and water when it is soluble in water it should be crystalline salt done your preliminary test is done now okay now second thing come to your detection of acid radical we have to detect this acid radical now this one right come to the group 1 test what is the group first one test the test is salt plus dilute h2so4 let me check okay take some salt take a small amount add through it and what they told they have they have asked us to add dilute h2so4 now see here dilute sulfuric acid add a small amount did you see any effervescence did you see any effervescence here did you see like this i'll show you this was our salt right this was our salt did you see any effervescence no how effervescence looks like i'll tell you take this i've taken a small quantity of different salt i'll show you how an effervescence work again the dilute h2so4 look at the reaction here can you see this yes you see this fumes coming out right you see this effervescence did you see that effervescence see look it's making an hustling sound right no right so a salt when i added salt plus dilute h2so4 we didn't observe any effervescence right this was a salt so i come to a conclusion that let me keep this side okay i have come to a conclusion that when i added okay when i have added the salt plus dilute h2so4 there was no action therefore i conclude that group first is absent yes so a group one is absent come to the second one group two okay again there is test observation inference now we need to do the group second now group second it is called as concentrated h2so4 test now what has to be done salt has to be taken in a test tube okay and that too in a dry test tube add a drop of concentrated h2so4 to it add a drop of concentrated h2so4 to it so let us see what are the observation that we see here now okay i've taken the salt i've taken the spatula let me take a clean test tube now yeah it's clean and dry completely dry right add a small amount of salt to it yes a small amount of sa all salt has been added to it fine now what i have to do is i have to what i have to drop a concentrated one drop of or one or two drops of concentrated h2so4 has to be added to it now so okay so let us see this test 
that is your concentrated H2SO4 test that is analysis for your group 2 so for here in a dry test tube we take a small quantity of the salt okay and then what we have to do is we have to add a drop of concentrated H2SO4 but before doing that do one thing take a glass rod okay and take your ammonium hydroxide right handy with you now when you have done this you have to do this part see here just to hold on the side okay. look yes now there is some hustling sound here so what I do is I take a glass rod I dip this glass rod in your ammonium hydroxide and just look at the variations yes now I do see, see that I do see that when I take a glass rod dipped in NH4 here NH4OH and when I place it above the test tube I see that dense fumes are coming out so right so dense fumes are coming out so from this I can conclude that okay from this test I can conclude that I just need to write it down again yes colorless gas colorless gas gives white dense fumes with a glass rod dipped in NH4OH so when I observe this kind of observation I conclude that chlorine may be present I am not sure that it is present it may be present now when we have done for the group second now we need to do the analysis of my group 2 right again the test observation and inference so salt plus water plus AgNO3 we need to do this test and uh, let us uh, see what are the observations we see okay okay in a clean test tube take again a small quantity of your salt done then add water to it add water to it yes then shake a little bit then add AgNO3 that is nothing but silver nitride So look at the observation that you see here now. So what we see here, we see that there is some, you know, white curdy precipitate, right? Okay. Now to confirm my chlorine is present, I need to add ammonium hydroxide to it. So, if this white curdy precipitate is soluble in my ammonium hydroxide, then I can confirm that my Cl is present. From this part you can see clearly see this. Yes. See, it's completely soluble, right? Yes, it's completely soluble. Right, it's completely soluble. Yes. From this I conclude that, from this part I conclude that my chlorine is present. What did we observe here? White curdy precipitate soluble in NH4OH. So chlorine is present 
right okay now even this is the analysis of group 2 now come to the confirmatory test for group 2 what we have, what we have got chlorine chlorine might be present chlorine is present let us do the confirmatory test now for the confirmatory test okay of, of group 2 radicals okay which is present might be present chlorine so let us see confirmatory test for chlorine let us do this one so what is a theory here what is the test says it says salt plus K2Cr2O7 powder in the ratio of 1 is to 2 ok in the ratio of 1 is to 2 drop of concentrated H2SO4 heat then pass the outcoming gas through NaOH solution till yellow color change plus acetic acid plus lead acetate now you should get here yellow precipitate ok if chlorine is present the confirmatory test should be like this observation should be yellow precipitate let us do this one now in a clean test tube in a clean test tube take your salt ok look, the, look at the amount of salt that I am taking here ok fine then keep it aside then what you need to do is take K2Cr2O7 powder ok then you have to add in the ratio of 1 is to 2 look at the amount of salt that I have taken it should be in the ratio of 1 is to 2 now the amount of salt double the amount of K2Cr2O7 I have to add here the amount of salt is ka double karna hai so it is double around double right done yes mix it up ok now keep this test tube a little bit aside and in another test tube ok in another test tube what you need to do is you add NaOH to it sodium hydroxide you add NaOH to it fine you need to add NaOH to it small amount in a clean different test tube right I have added a small quantity of NaOH yes now in this test tube you need to add your acetic acid which one acetic acid so here is my acetic acid right here is my acetic acid just add small amounts of acetic acid yes then in this you need to add your lead acetate you see this lead acetate right ok now add a small amount of lead acetate in the same test tube yes yes now this test tube contains NH acetic acid and lead acetate now keep it aside ok keep this test tube aside and take the previous one now in this previous one what we have added we have added salt plus K2Cr2O7 in the ratio of 1 is to 2 now in the same this same test tube we need to add your concentrated H2SO4 so let us add some concentrated H2SO4 Now you can clearly see that there are some yellowish fumes, orange, yellowish orange fumes coming out of this. Now you have prepared the second test tube. Now slowly what you need to do is transfer this red outcoming gas, this outcoming gas in this part. Right? Transfer it very carefully. Yes? Transfer it very carefully. Yes, hold it. Shake a little bit. Yes, pass a little bit more if you want. Again, take it. Shake a little bit. Yeah. First thing you need to do is you need to discard this. 
okay discard it first then on your tab okay then. the observation that we need to see here is this test tube in this test tube you can clearly see that okay you can clearly see that there are some yellow precipitate you know there are some settlements inside this test tube now from here if i just keep it for a moment okay for, for five minutes or so i see there there will be some precipitate in at it at this part there will be some precipitate at this part so from here i can conclude that okay from here i can conclude that my chlorine is confirmed so i write it here cl minus is confirmed right chlorine minus is confirmed now from this one i did get my acid radical is acid radical is chlorine right yes now from this part when we have got an acid radical see for salt analysis you have two radicals one is your uh, acid radical and the second one is your basic radical now for acid radical we did get that it is chlorine okay now come to the second part come to the second part let's show it to you that is detection of your basic radical okay detection of your basic radical now acid radical is done now basic radical has to be done right now in basic radical the first thing that we need to do is we need to analyze the zero group radical right we need to analyze the zero group radical now in this zero group radical the tests are like this okay we are need to take salt plus nh4oh and we need to boil when we boil this let me see what are the observation here okay hold on a sec okay now in a small test tube okay in a so sorry in a test tube what you need to do is we need to add a small quantity of your salt in it done i've taken a small quantity in this now when i've added this okay i need to add naoh in this yes naoh2 it okay naoh2 add a small amount of NH. yes just shake it well just shake it well done now i need to boil this okay okay let us boil now yes okay the boiling process is done now right switch off your burner keep it aside right now in this when you smell this when you smell a little bit you observe a pungent smell right you observe pungent smell to it okay so the other test to do here now is when i take a glass rod i dipped it in high, uh, hcl okay when i dipped it in hcl okay i take the same glass rod that has been dipped and just uh, when i place it like this do you see red uh, sorry white fumes coming out of this now it is not here when i take a glass rod dipped in concentrated hcl and then when i bring it close to the opening of the test tube i see them white fumes coming out of it so from here i can conclude that your nh4 plus okay may be present or zero group is present so here i write it down like this pungent smelling gas was there ammonia is being released so i cannot now 
make that smell round. See here. Uh, the other part was white fumes with glass rod dipped in concentrated HCl. This test we, we did. So from here we come to a conclusion that zero group is present and that is NH4 is present. Now let us do the conformity test for my zero group. The test comes like this. Take salt, add Nestler's reagent to it and add NH. You should observe a brown, reddish brown precipitate. We are doing a conformative test for zero group. Now zero group contains NH4 plus. Let us do this thing. Salt plus Nestler's reason plus NH. Yes. Okay. Now add Nestler's reagent to it. Yes, Nestler's reagent. And then I need to add NaOH. Then I need to add NaOH. What is my observation here now? Look at this. What is my observation? I see that there is some here here. Can you see this? If I turn it very fast, you can clearly see this. Yes. Reddish brown precipitate is being seen here. Right? Reddish brown precipitate is being seen here. Right? So from this conclusion, I come to a from this test I come to a conclusion that NH4 is present right ok so for your analysis qualitative salt analysis you have two radicals one is your positive radical and the negative radical one is acid radical and the other is your basic radical now what we have done in this test was we have got an acid radical and a basic radical acid radical was your chlorine basic radical was your NH4 plus right so let us see now we need to write the report the positive radical is which one it was it was this one NH4 plus present right okay now the negative radical is Cl minus remove this NH4 plus and this Cl minus. The formula of this given salt is NH4Cl. Right? The name of the given salt will be it will be ammonium chloride. I'll write it here. Ammonium chloride. So this salt that you have got now is ammonium chloride. So this is how you do, do your systematic qualitative analysis. This was your salt one. In the further videos, we will try to do the other salts also. Okay. Thank you.